Good morning everybody. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's Saturday and we are going to a special place for breakfast we've never been. But I want to show you this little display we have. These are salt and pepper shakers. Just like this, we go together like salt and pepper. Route 66, salt, Sarah, pepper, P, S, P, Sarah, Peter, Eve. This is my ridiculous hat that I'm wearing. It all makes sense shortly. Did we say yesterday where we're going? We did not. We didn't. So I was just doing a little bit of makeup and then we're out of here. And I hope we get to walk down Main Street USA today. We have to find a spice that starts with an E so that Eve can be a part of our little group. Place that begins with E. A spice. Oh. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you know of a spice that begins with E so we can be salt, pepper, and something with an E. Are you pumped? I'm beyond pumped. Are you hangry? I'm not hangry. <laughs> I'm mentally preparing myself to eat my entire weight in food. And I love. Can't wait, have we said where we're going? No. I want to tell you about our experience at Fort Wilderness Cabins. It was great, but there's a very important thing you need to know about it. There's a good reason why all of these golf carts and all of these bikes are here. And why that bus over there says internal resort shuttle. And that is because this resort is so large, it's got a massive cabin section and a massive camping section and a massive activity section. It is so massive that you take a bus to the front and then you have to take a bus internally around the inside of it. And then a different bus to get to the park, so. So like if you woke up in a cabin and you're staying here, you have to wake up, go to a bus stop near your cabin, wait for the bus that takes you to the front of the campgrounds and then get off that bus and then wait for a separate bus to go to the park. And I think there's other rules like during certain days, until a certain time, the only way to get to Magic Kingdom is through a boat at the back side of the campgrounds, which you would have to take a bus to the back side of the campgrounds to take a boat. And then at a certain time, they do boats and buses. So just so, don't be surprised when yes. you need a little bit of extra time to get anywhere that you're going if you're staying in Fort Wilderness. Because you do need extra time. We love it here because one, they have an awesome pool. Two, they have great accommodations, especially if you're a family of five. I feel like there's way more, more space than any of the hotels. Um, and it's so fun, there's so much to do here. You could almost spend a whole week just at the resort. We're going to Trails and Buffet. And we found Kristen and Chelsea. Woo! Yeah. And we're all ready to eat our body weight in food. Hi, Near Hall. Chelsea and Kristen just said they're doing courses, they're doing light plates, and I said, <laughs> so am I. This is just round one. So they have some magic go-go juice. Is that what it is? Some moonshine? I've never had it. Are you so excited? Yes, can That's I use it. your phone real quick? Yeah. There's a horse out. They're free, there's free tours here. Here in Florida, we have something special we never enjoyed at Disneyland. The blessing of size. What? Look at this cool saddle. And all these pictures. Look at there's Mickey Mouse. And a samurai. Look at there's Walt. Look how cute he is. Is this what you're talking about that I love? Yeah. <laughs> how come you. Kristen always shows me all the fancy Walt trains and horse stuff. Remember when you showed us the train room? Yeah. Here's Flash. That goes out on Main Street after Mickey stops so scary. Cool. Oh. Wow. He's one of our smaller guys. He is so And he's so big. Yeah. It's Already. It's because he's uh, a crossbreed, so his mom was a Percheron and his dad was a thoroughbred. Um, so before he came to Disney, he was actually in the Arabian Nights show. Oh. Wow. Oh. Really 
This is Paul. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey. Did you make a friend with John? Super messy. <laughs> Where are we? Kristen's We're lost. Kristen's trying to find a way. There used to be a, a way to get to closer to river country without breaking rules. And the way that Kristen used to know is like fenced off now because people would apparently probably go too close to it. But river country, if you didn't know, is the first water park. And it's like right in that direction. If you go to Google Maps, find uh, Trails End and just go like southwest of it. If you're on the ski boats or taking the boats from Fort Wilderness to Magic Kingdom, you can actually see parts of it. She is on a mission. Look at she's got like city slicker walking and going on. Oh, this is restricted area, authorized employees only. Shoot. Chelsea, we gotta walk back now. So that River Country's down there. And you used to be able to go down? Oh. Thanks, Kristen, for bringing us to this great place. She's carrying me back. <laughs> you did good. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. All right. We're doing a scenery change. We ditched Chelsea and Kristen because they're lame. Hey. I'm just joking. I just got stuff to do. They got their their teachers, and their first day of work was this past Thursday and Friday. But that's like just prep days. So they're getting ready for open house and teacher night or whatever and the kids just show up on Monday as the first day of the kids. So we're gonna go over to Magic Kingdom now and I got my cooler hat on. And because we're not gonna be in the wilderness, I don't need that wilderness hat. Yeah. But I wanted we, to we really did like um Trails End. We highly recommend it. It was all you can eat. not your typical Disney breakfast buffet. It had like your Mickey waffles and sausage and bacon and stuff like that, but it had a ton of um stuff that was unique to that area and also if you go on the weekends it's brunch so you can have the fried chicken mashed potatoes mac and cheese and all that and you do get your dbc discount and annual pass discount and right now the for i don't know until when but they're doing annual pass discounts extra on certain locations for the 45th anniversary and it's currently going on so we got 20 percent off our our meal which was nice because we treated chelsea and Kristen for helping us move in because they helped us unload all that stuff you and saw in our apartment. actually went and saw apartments for us while we were planning, so that was something that we really appreciated. Now we're gonna do one of our favorite things. Go a, boat a boat ride. <laughs> Look who it is, the Dapper Dance. Look who it is, the Dapper Dance. Just enjoying Main Street, yeah. enjoying the air conditioning, and we're walking through, what is this, the east side or west side? No, east side. Yeah. This is the east side of Main Street with the confectionery and everything, and we ran into one of our friends that you may have seen before. Hi guys. It's Ryan. Rhino. We'll put his link in the description down below, so make sure you go check out his videos. Great stuff, and come see him on Main Street for a little bit of time he has left before he hops around to some different magical adventures in Disney World. Sounds like fun. He's going to show us around Orlando, possibly. We have so much to see, we didn't even realize it. So. He's going to show us the non-Mickey Mouse and non-Disney magic. I'm sure it's Orlando magic. There's lots of magic all over the place. But not Disney magic, so he's going to be our, our tour guide. It'll be lots of fun. Such a beautiful castle and such a beautiful day. It's a little bit warm up, but we've been pretty good. 
and uh, we're trying not to even acknowledge the heat and everything because we've got thicker blood right now. Yeah. I think that's a scientific thing. Like, I think it's not a lie. It's like big bone people like aren't like really big boned all the time. <laughs> um, that's just like Is a that saying. Is that the same thing though? <laughs> it's just like a saying, but I don't think saying you have thick blood is like a thing. I think your body like does get used to average temperatures after yeah. being around them for so long. So well, like when Floridians and it gets like 60 degrees and they're out in like jackets and stuff like that when when you're in Chicago and it's 60 you're still going to the beach. Or in at least t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, t-shirt and shorts and flip-flops. Whereas like that's cold here. So like we're trying not to think about how hot it is. But it's a little warm out today but not too bad. No. But I love I, to, like I love the meeting. The sun is shining. The, the sun is shining. <laughs> the castle is beautiful. And we got to meet a, a new friend today in yeah. person. And that's been one of the, the second probably best part about doing stuff like these YouTube videos for you guys is I love to go back and watch our wonderful memories that we have and have them forever and we get to meet awesome people like Ryan and, and anyone that we talk to is like so on the same page as us so it's just like instant friendship it's really right. cool and we could just blabber and blabber about Disney about not Disney stuff so if you ever see us and you want to feel free to say hi we would love it oh my gosh we I think so sprinkle me Disney is coming out next weekend Plan. I'm doing a very short Peter Ramble since we're trying to go through Frontierland to kill some time to see if any of Sarah's old colleagues work there still because surprisingly enough sometimes there are a few but if you are a DVC annual pass tables of wonder I don't know whatever kind of discount you get if you do the secret is don't buy the bottles of pop or water from the stands like the outdoor vendors go to a store because you'll still get your discount at that store. So I mean, so you get your discount. 25 cents is 25 cents. And now you bilge rats, do I hear six? Who makes it six? <laughs> cool when we lived here last. It wasn't. No, like, Instagram wasn't even a thing when we lived here. Not that we're, and we're not even like old, but like it just wasn't a huge thing. <laughs> so if you want to know where the purple wall is. Castle. Tomorrowland. Purple wall. Tomorrowland Terrace. It's really not purple our wall. environment, but I was like, hey, never took them before. Take them. Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. <laughs> See, she looks directly at me before I turn the camera on and go, you hold on to that camera.
doggy on the counter. Eve, do you know what this is? Oh, magic bags! And our cute little sliders. This is super cool. We got Sarah's yellow, my blue, our annual pass holder little, little sliders because we don't have our DVC ones anymore because we lost them. And then we've got our information. And the dog is going bonkers because <laughs> the dog should not be on the counter anyway. We are on our way to go to Disney Springs for the rest of the night and it says all garages full. That's crazy. Well, first of all, I didn't know that that was a digital sign. But how are all the garages full? I mean, even the last time we were there and they said full, there was a handful of spots every so often. So should I not be in this turn lane? Should we try it? But I feel like when they say full, they don't even let people in. We're just gonna go to try the surface parking. Yeah. We made it! We go wash my hands and face and I really need to feel like the climb, the, the Especially ooh. since we just parked across the street in casting. Yeah, we parked where the, you can go get a job. Craft IPA from a Tampa based brewery, and our server's name was Eric, and he said Chicago on his name tag. And it was from a neighborhood called Wicker Park, which is not too far from where we live on the north side. Yeah. And what did I get? You got a Mara Moscow Mule and the cutest copper like mug. We need stuff on our walls. We have plenty of stuff, we just need to put the stuff on the walls. That's tomorrow. Our extraordinary day in the Magic Kingdom in Disney Springs has now come to an end. Yeah. Our first, like, real Saturday is over. Yeah. It was good. It was relaxed. Like, people might think, like, wow, you guys are going, going, going. But it's like, we literally just went to Disney Springs and chilled Walked out, out for by a the bit. water. Yeah. yeah, hung out by the water and then came back. We did, like, a handful of rides today at the park and we just walked around and enjoyed ourselves. So I am tired, though. Yeah, and it is after midnight. Yes. So we are gonna get to bed. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna go to bed. The dog's ready for bed too. Mm -hmm. It is good to be home. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.